28th of February 1977. Dear Stephen, questions, questions, questions. If you are disappointed in my book Monty, so am I. I must be more disappointed than you because I spent a year collecting material for it. And it was a choice of having it made into a suit or a book. There are lots of one-liners in the book, but when the German army are throwing bloody great lumps of hot iron at you, one only has time for one-liners. In fact, the book should really consist of the following. Oh, f Look out. Christ, here's another. Where did that fall? My lorry's on fire. Oh, Christ, the cook is dead. You realize a book just consisting of those would just be the end? So my one-liners are extensions of these brevities. Then you are worried because as yet I have not mentioned my meeting with Seacom and later Sellers. Well, by the end of the Monty book I had as yet not met either Seacom or Sellers. I met Seacom in Italy, which will be in the volume 4. And I'm arranging to meet Peter Sellers on page 78 of volume 5 in London. I'm sorry I can't put back the clock to meet Seacombe in 1941 to alleviate your disappointment. Hope springs anew with the information I have given you. Another thing that bothers you is cowardice in the face of the enemy. Well, the point is I suffered from cowardice in the face of the enemy throughout the war. In the face of the enemy, also in the legs, the elbows and the wrists. In fact, after two years in the front line, a mortar bomb exploded by my head. Or was it my head exploded by a mortar bomb? And it so frightened me, I put on a tremendous act of stammering, stuttering and shivering. This, mixed with cries of mother and a free flow of dysentery, enabled me to be taken out of the line and downgraded to B2. But for that brilliant performance, this letter will be coming to you from a grave in Italy. Any more questions from you and our friendship is at an end. Sincerely, Spike Milligan